Hi friends, Milan here. All right, so I was thinking to myself as I was driving, thoughts just pop into my head like this, and I'm like, that would be a really great thing to share with you guys. Um, I no longer am ashamed. I was trying to think of the right word. I am no longer ashamed of my style, how I want to wear my hair, um, polka dotted skirts that I like to wear, high top shoes or platform shoes I should say um the fact that I don't want to wear makeup or that I want to grow my eyebrows thick um or that I want to be fit or I want to lose weight you know I am no longer concerned with the outside world and how they um they as in just like people who don't their opinions should not at all determine or have an effect on um, have an effect on our day-to-day -day choices and our life choices but sometimes they can when we're looking on the outward when we're comparing when we're when we feel that uh, we should be at a different place and we're not or um, we're going by the status quo or society's timeline or standards that's when we kind of look outwards and begin to compare ourselves to see if you know we're aligned with the latest fashion or hairstyles or trends and none of that matters because it it, it is all man-made you know it is all man-made all that stuff does not matter and um I'm getting to the point where I'm finding little things about my style and my taste and my purpose and my interests that yeah they might be similar to other people and they might be way way different from other people but that's what makes me stand out that's what makes me me that's what feeds me that's what drives my purpose that's what wakes me up every day being able to express myself and my clothes and how I wear my hair in my art and my music and acting and, and giving kindness to people and I guess I'm getting emotional because this is really big for me this is so real because you know when I was a teenager like 14 15 years old all I wanted to do was spread kindness and love and I'd send texts to my friends I'm sure they'll comment at the bottom. I'll send texts to my friends every morning, like scriptures and encouraging words every day because I just wanted to spread love and kindness, right? And I wanted to be that light of joy to someone to remind them that there is goodness in the world and somewhere along the line. Somewhere along the line, I am. Um, I don't know if I heard someone say a comment that I let get to me. <clears throat> I begin to think like, it's not cool, you know? No one was doing it. So if I don't do it, that won't matter, you know? I shouldn't do it. Um, it's unnecessary. And so that was so wrong and I know that now excuse me that was so wrong and I know that now and I'm beginning to tap back into that into the rarity of who I am and to my uniqueness and my my unique place in this world because no one else is Kimberly Milan and no one else is you no one else has a perspective in life that that you have lived it may be similar it may be very similar, but but no one else is you. And so, don't feel ashamed of your style. Don't feel ashamed of how your hair is. Don't feel ashamed of your skin color or, or the, the style of clothing that you like to wear. As long as you are, you know, protecting yourself and not exposing yourself or you know, you honor your own body. 
you be kind to yourself, you love yourself. And don't be ashamed of how different you are because that's, that's what it takes to stand out, is being yourself. That's what it takes to, to be successful, to make a change, is being true to who you are, right? So, yeah. Take care, guys. Peace out. Much love. Bye.